Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Cody and welcome to Destiny Follower. So I've currently been working on a really big project in Destiny's Crucible and I wanted to share my results with you guys. So I just recently played 100 games in the Control playlist and I recorded each and every single one of my end game drops. Now I did this for two different reasons. The first reason is there seems to be a little bit of confusion regarding the drop rate of items in Destiny's end game activities and I wanted to kind of give you a rough idea of what to expect when you go into the Crucible to farm. The second reason that I did this is a good friend of mine by the name of Cost Gaming is currently doing an in-depth series on Destiny's end game drop rates and I wanted to help him out by collecting some Crucible data. Now this guy is at almost 12,000 subscribers and he's done really awesome videos regarding the drop rate of skeleton keys and he's come up with what I consider to be the best strange coins farming method in the game. So I urge you guys to go click the link in the description below, check out his channel. He's at almost 12,000 subscribers and I know you guys would love his videos. They're very informative and I think you guys would learn a lot. So definitely go check him out. But anyways, first things first, I want to say that while 100 games does seem like quite a bit, in the grand scope of things, it's not really that many. So your results may vary from mine. RNG is still RNG, so your experience may be different than mine. But at the very least, this should give you a rough idea of what to expect when you go into the Crucible. If you guys want to take a look at all of my data, there will be a link to a spreadsheet in the description below. You guys can go click on that and see each and every game that I played, whether I won or lost, and what drops that I actually got. So I played 100 games of Control, and I used a 3 of coins on every single match. So out of 100 games with 3 of coins popped, I got 16 exotics. So that means that 16% of the time, I got an exotic engram. Now in the community, it's assumed that the drop rate for 3 of coins uh, exotics is around 20%, so that means 1 in 5, and while I didn't quite get to 20% on my test, I think it's safe to say that, you know, you can still kind of expect 1 out of 5 times you will get an exotic. I just think that uh, Destiny hates me and I got a little bit unlucky on that aspect. Now let's move on to legendary weapons and legendary class items. Uh, these are these legendary weapons are things like the Matador 64. Yeah, that thing is uh, just overpowered as hell in the Crucible, right? Uh, the Ill Will, the Unending Deluge, and the Cryptic Dragon. Uh, these legendary weapons, I got 20 of these out of the 100 games that I played. So that puts them at a 20% drop rate, or 1 in 5. Oddly enough, I didn't get a Hopscotch Pilgrim from any of these games that I played, so I'm going to be doing a follow-up project where I play 100 games of Clash and 100 games of Supremacy to see if maybe the Hopscotch and some of these other guns have a slightly higher drop rate in the other game modes. So for Legendary Weapons, 20% or 1 in 5, not a bad drop rate. Moving on to legendary class items, these are things like the Warlock Bond and the Cloak and the, the Titan Butt Tile. These things have an abysmal drop rate in the Crucible. I was only able to get 5 of these out of the 100 games, so that puts these at a 5% drop rate or 1 out of 20. So if you guys are looking for a higher lot level class item, uh, the Crucible is not the place to farm these. You guys should go to Archon's Forge. It just seems like the Archon's Forge drop rate for class items is much better than the Crucible drop rate. And finally, let's talk about Motes of Light and Strange Coins. So out of the 100 Crucible games, I got 30 Strange Coins and 38 Motes of Light. So that's not a great drop rate for these. There are much better farms to get these items, but it is nice that you do get these additional sort of currency items to use while you're farming, say for example, a God Roll Matador 64, so you can piss some people off in the Crucible. It's a nice little added bonus, and you are earning motes of lot through experience when you win games and when you finish games. So overall, getting motes, it's not terrible in the Crucible, but there are better methods. 
So that about wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys found this information helpful and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on it. This took a ton of time and a lot of energy and I pretty much have lead poisoning from all the damn shotguns in the crucible. So if you guys did find this video helpful at all, please be sure to hit that like button. We greatly appreciate it here on the channel. Also, if you're new to Destiny Follower, make sure to subscribe for the latest Destiny news, lore, and entertainment. As always, my name is Cody, and thank you for watching Destiny Follower.